We're going to create a VPC in Alibaba Cloud. So essentially, you just go straight to your Alibaba Cloud console. You go ahead and you click on VPC. Again, you can do that here by going here and clicking on VPC, or you can just click there. And again, it's really straightforward. Just go ahead and click on Create VPC. And um, we're going to name it our Test VPC1. All right, we're using IPv4 CIDR block, and we can actually get away with that name, so it checked out okay. All right, um, we recommend you use one of our private, so let's use a class C 192.168.1.0, and we'll do the whole 24. So we'll do the whole subnet 1.0. So we'll do the whole thing. All right, so when I do, wow, typing is so bad. 192.168.1.0, so that's all done up. We're not going to do an IPv6. The description is just going to be our, our first VPC for test. Resource group, we're just going to do default resource group. But if we had one, we could make one. Um, but we're not going to create a vSwitch. There's no point on this for right now. I don't think we're really going to need one, um, but we certainly could if we wanted to. But again, I don't think we're going to need to, and they're going to do a suggestion on 25. They're going to do a suggestion on half of that, and I don't, don't want to do that. I don't want to break that one whole network up because I want to use the whole class C. So let's go OK. Oh, it wants a vSwitch. Our first test vSwitch. And we'll do a zone. We'll do Virginia zone A, right? So we'll just dump it in Virginia. So there's our, our V switch. And it's just going to take half of it. I don't really want it to take half of it, but it's going to. So we'll just go along with our IP4 CIDR block configuration on that one. We can work on that one later. And it's going to be our V switch for test. And then we can go OK on that. And then what's end up happening is going to go ahead and it's going to create it. And then you've got your vSwitch created, and that's all there is to it. Um, we can create a NAT gateway. We can add cloud services to it. So if we wanted to create a NAT gateway for that, um, it will go ahead and, and set all that up for us. So um, we can go ahead and set wherever we want that zone region to be. Now, remember, I built my, my box in America, so I uh, built it in Virginia. So Virginia zone A, perfect, it found it, it's vSwitch there. Um, we can make it an enhanced or pay by actual usage. Um, you must create the service link first. So there's a lot of things I need to do here, but it will charge me um, almost nine cents an hour for that um, NAT gateway pay as I go. If I wanted to go ahead and add an extra cloud service to it, I can add my ECS instance which is the next big step that we're going to do. That's the next thing that we would do is go ahead and create that NAT instance within that virtual private cloud that we just made. And then we're going to do it in Virginia. Let's go ahead and we'll do it at pay as you go. Um, we'll just go with whatever zone type. We'll just do a really, really teeny tiny one, a general purpose, um, just whatever they've got handy. We're not going to do anything super huge. We just want to do one. And then we're not going to do a backups on it, just 40 gigs. I'm not going to worry about that size public image. We'll just use um, the regular old 64-bit Linux on that one. We'll do the security hardening, right? But if I wanted to, I could do a community image. Like you've been seeing in class, we could actually do um, a community image that we had. We could select from Marketplace, and we could do that WordPress one that, we were, that, that Galam showed us. Um, so you could actually go through High Performance WordPress. You know, we could use that one if we wanted to and put that together as our as our system and then that would charge us, you know, six cents an hour for a marketplace image. So my cost to run it is ten point three cents. And then my image is another five point five cents. So it's gonna be sixteen cents an hour to run this from that marketplace image. So do I just wanna do my own make my own image or do I want to just go ahead and use a marketplace image or a custom you know, it's kind of where you want to spend spend your, your budget on that one uh, and then you can go next and then we'll go ahead it will go find our VPC right it's gonna go put it in there and put it in our test domain with a CIDR block of half that network and then we can assign it a public IP address if we want it publicly accessible and I don't because I want to put later on when we do this I'm gonna put a, a load balancer in front of it 
and um, then we can select a security group if I had a security group and we should make those you'll notice I'm using Linux so it has port 22 and port 3389 so this is for Windows I don't need that so we're gonna turn that off right I only need the one for Linux um, for port 22 then they'll put it on our vSwitch ENI and then we can go ahead and go next and then we can go if we want to make a key pair um, we can make one we can create our key pair for us for the security side of the house and go from there and, and build auto create we'll just call it our first key pair all right we'll auto create resource group we'll just do that resource re default resource group do we want to give it a tag so we're going to do um, ksm for our key um, kms for our key management system and then go OK. And that will create our first key pair for us. And it's going to download that for us. And we'll go over some conversion with that later on. Um, but that takes care of our first key pair. So we'll do that. We refresh that so it should show our first key pair. And then Launch Advisor so we can learn if there's anything issue. And then this is going to be our first VM. Um, if we're going to do a host name, we're not going to really do a host name right now on that. Uh, no, suffix, no suffixes, no release to production. Um, so there's none of that going to happen on. Uh, network, we'll just kind of keep it going the way we want it to. A commonly used tags, so we'll just go ahead and we'll do, you know, um, test, right? And then test. And we'll add that tag just so we've got, we know it's a test server. And again, our resource group, default, our deployment set. We don't have any because we haven't made a deployment set yet. Um, dedicated host, we're okay there. And then our private pool, we're not going to worry about none of that at all either. We don't need to worry about private pool. Then we can go through, here's our basic configuration. And then this is what you're going to screen cap for me. So you would just go ahead and you do your screenshot. Um, go ahead and capture that. And that's what you submit to me for this. That's all you've got to do is you're going to make a system. You're going to tell me how much money you're going to spend. You don't have to create the instance, but we do have our billing method pay as you go. We just want one. It's on our own VPC. We've not assigned any public IP addresses to this because there's no network billing. Uh, our first key pair, we've gone ahead and just done a normal mode, regular old instance, no big issue. Our first VM is our description. We've made a V switch for it that takes up half of our class C network. We're just doing a regular old system disk, nothing special, and just a general purpose type computer. So that's what you would send to me when you're done with this assignment. That's it. That's all I need is this custom launch configuration, and you're good. That's your assignment for the week, for week three. So do let me know if you've got any questions about this. More than happy to answer anything you've got on this. So thank you very much, and I will see you in class.